I managed to achieve 5 gigahertz on my Sandy Bridge platform so I just wanted to show you some performance results and temperatures um, so this is an Asus P8P67 Evo with a Core i7-2600K G-Skill 1600 MHz um, 88824 CR2 SATA 3 Caviar Black NMAX Revolution 1250 Watt and it's cooled by a Danger Den Triple Radiator water box I've got other videos of this hardware on my channel so if you want details about the water box um, and the motherboard I've got a review on um, and also this fan controller which is for the water box so you can check those out um, so this is the new ASUS software it's been completely integrated AI suite Turbo V fan expert uh, EPU all of that stuff here check this out this is there you go and there's also a whole a whole lot more which I don't have time to show you so this is just showing the what the multiplier is set up CPU ratio on all the cores um, you can adjust all those voltages. This is Turbo V, by the way. It's the new Turbo V, and there's also auto tuning, which you can access from the BIOS as well. Um, so more CPU information over there, and I'm just going to change it to sensor. So it's got all your PC probe information there. Um, but anyway, just show you CPU Z. So you can see that I've, oh, it's idling at the moment, so it's only at 1600 megahertz. But you can see all my CPU information there. So I'll just, um, crank it up with Prime 95. I've actually got it completely stable at 5 gigahertz. Uh, it does get hot, but seriously, I'm going to show you the actual temps that it reached. So there you go, that's 5 gigahertz. Yeah, I'm going to show you the actual temps it reached in um, real temp. So there you go there. So one of the cores did get to 93, but that is a, a temperature spike. Um, like it seriously hits that for a split second and then drops back down again and that's because of the water cooling system it's total overkill three 360 millimeter radiators um, here's the coolant temperature here so that's the ambient temp 33.3 .3 is the temperature of the air in this room and 33 is the temperature of the coolant and it only got up to 35 degrees the coolant did when I ran links did 10 runs of links and that's when it hit 93 degrees so the water cooling system can easily nail this and that's why it only spikes up to those temps most of the time it's sitting around 70 degrees uh, when I'm running links between 70 and 80 when I'm running links so there's its idle temperatures that's just to show you that I've done 10 runs of links with all memory so you can see that it's stable I've actually done 20 runs in a row. Um, it did start throttling. It didn't throttle in these 10 runs, but when I did 20 runs, it got to 17, the 17th run, um, and it throttled down to 3.4 gigahertz, which is the default turbo clock of this CPU, the 2600K. Um, and it's not supposed to, um, like the, the shutdown temperature is 98 degrees, so it's interesting that it starts, whoops, starts throttling before then. So, 
There you go, the TJ Maxx, 98 degrees, but it started throttling at about 93. Um, so yeah, that's Super PI, I just showed you that, 7 minutes and 12 seconds, or 12.451 seconds, 32 megabytes. Pretty awesome. Uh, and that's just to show you my C, um, sorry, graphics overclock. I've got it running at 850 megahertz core, 1000 memory, and remember they're GTX 460s. It's not much of an overclock. I've managed to get these up to up over 900 megahertz on the core. Um, but just so that you know, because I also ran 3D Mark 11. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. There we go. Performance score of 6664. And there's all the individual scores. Yeah, so basically I just wanted to show you that I've achieved stability at 5 gigahertz with my 2600K, which I thought was pretty amazing. Um, and I thought I'd better show you some performance results as well. So just looking at I to 60, A to 64, focus, come on, sorry about this, um, yeah just have a quick look at that, so 1.5 volts is my core voltage and 1.65 on the memory, the rest is on auto, so it's actually 50 times 100 is 5 gigahertz, so there it is. Memory is at 1600, 888 cr 2 So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.